Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm the Convalescing Soul. Appreciate your support more than you know. <laughs> From the White Light Oracle Guidebook, we are reading number seven. Seven Blessings of Eve. See the serpent? <laughs> Sorry, silly question. <laughs> it kind of, well, I don't know if you can see the detail. It almost looks like a fuzzy, a fuzzy tail. Actually, if you used to watch Sesame Street as a kid, <laughs> it reminds me of. Snuffleupagus, I think that's what it was to be called, of his like trunk, of the Snuffleupagus. I haven't said that word <laughs> in a very long time. I might not be saying it right. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> um, the Seven Blessings of Eve. A spiritual gift shall enter your heart and manifest as a blessing in your life. You have innate talents and abilities which will support your soul into full glorious manifestation. You have been blessed with a beautiful divine destiny to fulfill. You have natural healing ability. Choose your thoughts and words so they reflect what you truly wish to put out into the world because your influence is stronger and further reaching than you could possibly realize. Eve dwelt in the original paradise, the Garden of Eden. She is the mother of knowledge. From knowledge, wisdom can be developed. In fact, I've heard it said that um, wisdom is simply the knowledge applied, you know? Similar, similar um, sentiment. Wisdom is the egg of Sophia, the divine feminine power to be a birth mother of higher consciousness, to bring forth the light of loving awareness. Eve's oracle is not an omen of being cast out of paradise. It is a sign that a false view which has been holding you captive is going to give way to a greater understanding which will empower you to be a bearer of the light, a priestess or priest of the egg of Sophia. This oracle encourages you to seek the knowledge you need to not be held captive by secrets or misinformation and to know that from that knowledge you shall be able to shed false views like a snake shedding its skin and grow in wisdom. You shall know what you need to know and find your way in truth. The oracle also indicates a shift away from shame and confusion, perhaps feeling you have something to prove or that you are not enough or that you have to atone for failing in this or other lifetimes. Instead, your soul is moving you towards a realization of the inherent goodness and grace that is your real nature. You are blessed. You are granted a unique, unrepeatable human life. Even if you believe in reincarnation, Acknowledging the soul continues to grow over many lifetimes. There will only be one lifetime when you are this 
you. If you treasure this life, you will become bolder, more fearless, more willing to step up as your real self, more willing to engage in healing and say yes to what makes your heart sing. There is a rabbinic, probably that's from like a rabbi, right? Rabbinic saying that every time a human being walks down the street, a choir of angel cries, make way, make way for the image of God approaching. Loving humanity is not always easy, especially when the darker side of human nature causes such suffering. Yet, there is much heroism, love, kindness, and nobility too. Look to the positive and open your heart to the best in yourself and those around you. Choose to see and nurture the spiritual light in yourself and others to the best of your ability. We are all growing and evolving in our own way. I might add, and at our own pace, <laughs> even those who trouble your heart are doing their best. Acknowledge that humans have limited capacities and deserve compassion and a chance to awaken spiritually nonetheless. Do not, however, allow yourself to become a doormat to anyone's ego games. Entrust the spiritual progress and protection of all beings to the divine feminine as you care for yourself and others as consciously as you can. Certain numbers have a sacred significance that crosses religious and cultural boundaries. Seven is one such number with significance in Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Jainism, Buddhism, Baha'i, and the New Age. The spiritual power of seven includes a natural charisma and capacity to be an influential channel for higher wisdom. The presence of seven is a sign from the universe to reconnect to the sacred. The oracle of the seven blessings of Eve is a reminder that you are a sacred being and have no need to hold yourself hostage to shame, blame, guilt, anger, judgment, or fear. Acknowledge your connection to spiritual knowledge. Pray and your prayers shall be answered. If you'd like to try the healing practice, process, this is it. Imagine, see, feel, or intend that your mind becomes softly and pleasantly fuzzy, moving from sharp focus into gentle streaming waves of white light. Your head may relax, including the nerves at the base of your skull, the fascia covering your face, the muscles around your eyes, cheeks, ears, and jaw. The top of your head may feel as if it's melting. You are left feeling peace, clarity, and a sense of light. Recognize that the light is intelligent and knows what you need and when. It is bringing an abundance of offerings to you in the perfect way at the perfect time. This helps you relax further and let go. You can allow these sensations to travel through your entire body if you wish. You may like to close your eyes and relax more deeply. 
Rest in this state for as long as feels right for you. Ground yourself and hydrate. You have completed your healing process. Thank you for joining me. Much love and blessings.